<laughs> thank you. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> of course. Brava, brava. Gracias. Thank you. Um, to begin. No, it's not a naturalist short film. <laughs> it's not a naturalist short film. Oh. It's not, uh, it's not realistic. Not actually realistic. You know? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Inspirado en el, en la cinematografía de David Lynch, Cronenberg. <laughs> Inspired by David Lynch and Cronenberg. You know. Kind of. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um. Yeah. No. I've I've heard of. Uh, you know, situations where people even uh, had the hardest time grieving over their spouses, that they uh -huh. would actually eat their ashes. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enough documentaries will do that to you. So. Claro. Um, to begin, uh, Karina, please tell us who you are and what your role is in this film. Yeah, she's the director, the screenwriter, and the general producer of the short film. A lot of hats. Well done. <laughs> Y, y se hizo, eh, es cine independiente en Buenos Aires, Argentina. Se filmó en Buenos Aires, Argentina hace un año. Eh, it's independent filmmaking and it was done in Buenos Aires a year ago. Yeah, it's an independent production. Ah. Independi independiente porque se hizo sin apoyo económico de nadie. O sea, no hubo apoyo económico ni financiamiento de nadie. No. It's actually independent because it was done without any, any financial support of any kind. Yeah, oh it's all uh, really independent, yeah. Well done, well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, doing uh, films in a shoestring budget, uh, it's never easy. But I really am just humbled by people that would and still do try. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sin nada de plata y admira muchísimo que es tan difícil hacer. Sí, eh, realmente he conseguido eh, catering para 20 personas. Eh, <ríe> se ha conseguido un equipo de postproducción, actores, mm -hmm. eh, todo sin, sin dinero. O sea, este cortometraje ha salido de lo que es, ¿no? Yeah. This, uh, everything, from the catering to the actors. And this, the crew, even post production, everybody sort of volunteered and donated their work in, in order to film it. So it's actually zero pesos, zero money. You know? huh. Wow. <laughs> it's all, it's all uh, yeah, in kind, you know. In a case, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the casting of this, uh, are these people that you usually work with, or mm -hmm. where did you find them? They're amazing. El casting, como la, como es gente con la que has trabajado antes, sí. o cómo los conseguiste. Correcto. Eh, en general, yo soy fotógrafa, eh, trabajo de fotógrafa desde hace mucho antes de 25 años, soy fotógrafa. Eh, y a Matías Alzueta, el protagonista, lo conocía de un book de fotos que se había realizado conmigo y sabía perfectamente que él era el actor indicado. You know, she's actually, her main profession is to be a photographer and she's been working as a photographer for 20, more than 25 years. And she actually works on um, doing books for actors, for film, for example. And she had met Matthias some time ago. And when she met him, she immediately realized he was the person, the guy for this role in particular. Ensayamos con Matías durante dos meses, porque él no vive en esta ciudad, durante dos meses vía Zoom. Y personalmente, cuando llegó a Buenos Aires, eh, diez días antes del cortometraje, eh, presencialmente, dos días. Ok, you know, this was in the middle of the pandemic, so she had to start rehearsals with, this, with the lead, with the lead actor, like two months via Zoom. They were rehearsing and talking about the character. Then when he, he, because he lives in another city. He lives in a city in Mar del Plata, which is 400 kilometers from Buenos Aires. And then he came two weeks before the, the film, the actual uh, shooting. And he had like rehearsals, very thorough rehearsals for 12 days before the actual uh, shooting. 
Oh, que me interesa ah. mucho la construcción del personaje. Porque she's really interested in characters, in build up characters, and uh, the, the process that the, the uh, actor needed. Uh, in the process of creating the character, uh, what were your inspirations? Mm -hmm. En el proceso de crear el personaje, ¿cuáles eran tus inspiraciones o qué herramientas? Correcto. Eh, yo eh, soy actriz y pienso que el instrumento de un actor es eh, muy sensible, muy complejo, y me importaba muchísimo eh, acompañarlo eh, en, este, en esa construcción. O sea, que, que el trabajo del actor fuera un trabajo de construcción entre la dirección y el, eh, y el, y el actor. Mm -hmm. Que no esté solo eh, haciendo su personaje. She's also an actress, so she really understands what it feels and how complex it is to, to build up this character. And what uh, she wanted to do was to accompany the actor in all this process because actually it was a hard character. And so, like this daily uh, work, accompanying and working and building up the character, the actor and the director together. Mm -hmm. With working with an apartment, how hard was it to work with lighting, um, camera work as a director? Mm -hmm. and producing like one, sorry, yes. Oh, uh, go ahead. That's it? Oh. That's it. Um, ¿Cuán difícil fue para vos trabajar con toda la parte técnica, con luz, con la gente de cámara? Que, que, digamos, ¿Cómo fue con esta experiencia? Eh, fue un equipo de gente maravillosa. Eh, el director de fotografía eh, se llama Cristian Lidone, eh, que ha hecho bastantes largometrajes y cortometrajes acá en Buenos Aires, Argentina. Y el equipo fue un equipo muy bueno, no he tenido ningún tipo de percance, solo que eh, a las 3 de la mañana, <ríe> eh, cuando estábamos filmando la, la última escena, eh, tocó el fin de la policía, pero lo pudimos resolver. Yeah. So actually, she found it, she found it very easy because the team was marvelous. Um, they were all very professional. Most of them had experience before. Actually, in particular, the the photograph the photographer, um, the cinematographer. Sorry, he had a lot of experience filming long films and short films before. His name is Christian Pidone, and he's also Argentinian from Buenos Aires. And so it was all very harmonious, let's say. Everything worked very well, uh, except for the last night, that there was a little inconvenience that we, we got a, um, it was a 3 a.m. in the morning, was the last thing that was going to be shot, and suddenly the police turned up. <laughs> but it was very well solved anyway, I suppose. Laura estaba, era continuista también, yes. y, y aparte es la que canta la canción que es letra y música mía, ella es la, la cantante. Yeah, I, I was also involved in the production, I was working in the continuation, you know, and um, the song you hear, that song in Italian, I am the singer. Oh. I sing, uh, <laughs> yeah, and actually it's an original, it's original music, of course, it is written The lyrics are written by Karina, and there's um, a very well-known musician, right? Yeah. It's, um, Leo, Blue, Leo Bloomberg is the compositor. Leo musical. Bloomberg, that is on the credits. He's a composer, and she wrote the lyrics. And, uh, it's all in the family. It's all in the family. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Well, we're very ah, honored to have you. <laughs> Sorry? We're very honored to have you then. <laughs> ah, okay, good. Thank you very much. Ay, Está muy contento, muy honrado de que Y hay un dibujo animado especialmente creado para Ave Fénix. El dibujo animado que mira Germán en el momento que está tirado en el, en, en el sofá. Bueno, está creado especialmente por un gran eh, dibujante. There is, a, there is a moment where when Germán watches a cartoon. That cartoon was especially done, was especially designed for the film. And it was done by a very well-known designer here. Oh, wow. Andre He's an Uruguayan, but he's, uh, yeah. Well done. Wow. It, it sounds like everybody had their hands on this project and just brought in everything original to the table. Yeah. Para mí es, es importante, soy muy detallista, incluso hasta en los créditos, eh, en los efectos especiales. Eh, para mí es 
importantísimo la postproducción. El colorista eh, fue Borges Film, de acá de Argentina, que son muy buenos también, que participaron de forma solidaria. She's, you know, she's really interested in all details, in every small detail. And she mentions uh, post-production. Post-production was very detailed as well. The color and the credits and the sound, everything was really taken care of. Wow. Well done, well done. Uh, how long did it take you to shoot the whole film? ¿Cuánto tardaste en filmarlo? Seis días. Six days. What, what, what was that again? Six days. Six days. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just a week. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well. Yeah. It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Long, long, long day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <It's a> long day. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. My goodness. Um, how many people were in this production altogether? ¿Cuánta gente en total tenés en la producción? Eh, entre actores y equipo técnico, eh, aproximadamente 20 personas. Around 20 people. Actors plus technicians and all the crew. Cast and crew, let's say, or around 20. And uh, what camera did you guys use? What camera, you said? Yeah, right? camera, yes. Ah, ¿Qué camera? Red Comodo 6K. Red, red Comodo. Commodore. Red, 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 com red Comodo. Red Comodo 6K. Six K. Sorry, I'm not a, no, no, a camera worry. person. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm, a, I'm a singer. Right. Ah. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess uh, the only other question I have is, uh, oh, so where can we find more of your work? ¿Dónde podemos encontrar más de tus más de tu trabajo? Ah, correcto. Eh, durante dos años de pandemia filmé, eh, dirigí, bueno, escribí, eh, dirigí y produje tres cortometrajes. Eh, Bubblegum, eh, 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 es la que tuve en el Ok. Eh, you, during the pandemic, th those two years, she also filmed more short films. The first one she filmed is called Bubblegum. Bubblegum. <laughs> it has a lot of prizes. It's been in a lot of festivals and it has really been awarded with a lot of prizes. It's a, a homage to Buster Keaton's cinema. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, it's, yeah, it's yeah. very interesting. Uh, this is my comment. <laughs> <laughs> and then she filmed el, como la que tú eres la ah, de stillness. The Stillness, The Kiss and the Flower. That's another, another short film. The stillness, the, the kiss, and the flower. Que habla sobre lo que pasó en la pandemia. It is related, to, the theme is related to the pandemic. To the situation in the world. Son eh, tres cortometrajes en dos años. <laughs> Three short films in two years. Wow. Well done. Well done. Están en este momento en festivales que haciendo rueda por festivales, yes. entonces no pueden estar públicos. Claro, these, these short films are not really online so far. Because they are all in festival at the moment, you know. So until more, at a certain moment, they will be avail available. Puedo enviar, que puedo enviarle el link, por supuesto, para que lo pueda ver. You can, she can definitely send you the link, uh, so you can sort of watch them definitely, okay. privately. Privately. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the moment, for the time being. <laughs> uh, well, where can we follow you for your screenings? Ah, to know which okay. festival you're going to. Ok, dice que cómo te siguen, tus, eh, cómo te siguen a vos. Karina Grifo Producciones en Instagram. Todo junto. Sí. So, it is Karina Greenstein Productions. Producciones in Spanish, actually. Would you like me to spell it? To you? Uh, just, you can chat it. No. Uh, you can type it on ah, the you can chat. We can chat it. That's it. Ok. Yeah. <laughs> so. Ok, dice que lo escriba. Ahora. Perfecto. Oh. A ver si podemos el chat. Ya. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. There we are. There, there it is. Ah, oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a uh, Facebook, right? Uh, no, uh, Instagram. 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 That's it. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Karina. No. No. Muchas gracias. Ah. No, no, no. I say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Of course.